Is it time to buy or sell Meta stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Meta. Our initial report was published on our website on Tuesday, 23rd July, 2024, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price predictions and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since the 22nd of July, 2024, our system has categorized Meta as a sell candidate, assigning it a score of negative 2.65. Now, let us examine the stock's performance during this time frame. Interestingly, the stock has outperformed our system's predictions, achieving a gain of 0.26%. This equates to an average return of 0.13% per day since it was designated as a sell candidate. The stock is positioned within a broad and robust upward trend in the short term, indicating that further increases are anticipated. The current three-month trend indicates a potential change of approximately 12.14% over the upcoming three months, with possible returns ranging from 6.91% to 26.58%. In terms of the 12-month trend, it suggests a change of around 96.06% over the next year, with a potential return fluctuating between 87.08% and 121.81%. This would result in a price range of between $914.24 to $1,083.94 after a year. Our latest daily update for Meta includes the headline, Meta stock price ended at $488.69 on Tuesday after gaining 0.265%. The Meta stocks gained 0.265% on the last trading day, which was Tuesday, the 23rd of July, 2024, rising from $487.40 to $488.69. It has now gained for four consecutive days. It will be interesting to see whether it continues to rise or takes a minor break in the coming days. During the last trading day, the stock fluctuated 1.52% with a day low of $487.79 and a day high of $495.22. The price has shown volatility during this period, resulting in a 7.79% loss over the last two weeks. Volume decreased by 3 million shares on the last day, with a total of 9 million shares traded, amounting to approximately $4.45 billion. It's worth noting that declining volume amid rising prices may indicate divergence and could serve as an early warning of potential changes in the next few days. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest stock price was $542.79, while the lowest price was $274.39. Currently, the price is 9.97%, or $54.10, below the 52-week high of $542.79, which is also the all-time high for this stock. Analyst Ratings On Monday, the 22nd of July, 2024, it was reported that Bernstein assigned Meta an outperform rating with a hold action. On Friday, the 19th of July, 2024, it was reported that Bank of America Securities assigned Meta a buy rating with a hold action. On the same day, Friday, the 19th of July, 2024, Oppenheimer also assigned Meta an outperform rating with a hold action. Earlier in the week, on Monday, the 15th of July, 2024, Wolf Research assigned Meta an outperform rating with an initiate action. Also on Wednesday, the 10th of July, 2024, Cowan and Company assigned Meta a buy rating with a hold action. 
Analysts have assigned a general buy rating to Meta stock. They consider the price to earnings ratio to be a strong buy and also rate the price to book ratio as strong buy. In terms of return on investment, analysts have awarded the stock and strong buy rating as well. The following signals have been identified for Meta. There are mixed signals in the stock today. The Meta stock holds a buy signal from the short-term moving average. However, the long-term average indicates a general sell signal. Since the long-term average is above the short-term average, this creates a more negative forecast for the stock. If the stock experiences further gains, it will encounter resistance from the long-term moving average at $501.68. Conversely, if the stock declines, it will find some support from the short-term average at $482.38. A breakout above the long-term average will generate another buy signal, while a drop below the short-term average will introduce another sell signal, thereby reinforcing the overall negative signal. Additionally, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, or MACED. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Wednesday, July 17, 2024, and so far, it has risen by 5.78%. Further increases are expected until a new top pivot is established. It is noteworthy that volume decreased during the last trading day, despite rising prices. This divergence between volume and price may serve as an early warning. Therefore, the stock should be observed closely. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal, pivots, buy signal five days ago, Bollinger, buy signal five days ago, short-term moving average, buy signal three days ago, long-term moving average, sell signal nine days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages indicates a buy signal five days ago. If we examine the 12-month chart, we observe short moving average, sell signal nine days ago, Long-term moving average, sell signal seven days ago. For more signals, be sure to visit our page at stockinvest.us. Support, risk, and stop loss for Meta. On the downside, the stock finds support just below today's level from accumulated volume at $461.99 and $443.29. There is a natural risk involved when a stock is testing a support level. If this is breached, the stock may then decline to the next support level. In this case, Meta finds support just below today's level at $461.99. If this is broken, the next support from accumulated volume will be at $443.29 and $441.38. This stock exhibits average movements during the day, and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. Over the last day, the stock moved $7.43 between its high and low, or 1.52%. For the past week, the stock has experienced daily average volatility of 2.61%. Before we dive into the potential trading levels for Meta, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, we have the price to earnings ratio, commonly known as the PE ratio. This important metric measures a company's current share price relative to its earnings per share. This ratio is considered quite normal, often observed in companies with long histories or stable revenues. In other news, the upcoming earnings report for the second quarter of 2024 is expected on the 31st of July, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates stand at $4.68. Keep a close watch on these figures as they can significantly influence stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Meta. In the event of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Meta is at $493.50. If you do not currently own any shares, it may be wise to wait for this level to be surpassed before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could serve as a consideration for swing trading. On the downside, Meta faces its first support level at $461.99. If this support level holds firm, 
it could present a favorable entry point, anticipating a potential rebound. The combined average rating for Meta from various analyst sources indicates a recommendation to buy. Now let's examine some recent insider trades. On the 18th of July, 2024, Olive and Javier executed an insider sale of 412 shares of Class A common stock. On the 16th of July, 2024, Zuckerberg Mark made an insider sale of 229 shares of Class A common stock. On the same day, Zuckerberg Mark also sold 600 shares of Class A common stock. Additionally, on that day, he sold 148 shares of Class A common stock. Furthermore, on the 16th of July, 2024, Zuckerberg Mark sold 299 shares of Class A common stock. Analyzing the 100 most recent insider trades, we find that the insider power is negative, with a ratio of negative 99.186. In total, insiders purchased no shares and sold 72,794 shares in the last 100 trades. Our assessment of this stock is unfavorable and we have not established a stop loss. Is Meta stock a good buy? Meta exhibits several negative indicators, leading us to believe it will continue to perform poorly over the next few days or weeks. Consequently, we maintain a negative outlook on this stock. Upon analyzing the volatility and movements from the last trading day, our systems indicate that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Wednesday, the 24th of July, we anticipate that Meta will open at $1.88 and begin trading at $490.57. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money. It is advisable to consult with a financial advisor before making any decisions related to buying or selling securities. Please do not base your investment decisions solely on the information provided by StockInvest.us. By using this information, you acknowledge and accept responsibility for your own investment choices. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? We invite you to share your thoughts in the comments below. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and hope you have a wonderful day from all of us here at Stock Invest.